Good morning and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Lillian Amirian. And I'm Jonah Baker. Today is Wednesday, September 6th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Homecoming season has officially started. Homecoming court nominations are now posted on the school website. WSRH News reporter Bell Sfori Savoy has the story. Good morning, folks. Today I'm going to talk about homecoming nominations. So, Mr. Pennings, what are the requirements to run? So, it has to be a member of the grade level, so a boy or a girl, and also they have to be involved in extracurricular activities of some kind, a club, an organization, a sport. They have to do something on campus. When does nominations end? Nominations do end this Friday um, at, I want to say, 3 p.m. Where can you find a nomination form? The nomination forms can be found in many places. Uh, I sent an email out to all teachers, so hopefully some teachers post them in their classroom. And we also, on top of that, have it posted on our SPA page. All you have to do is go on the Seminole Ridge website, students and parents, student government, and then it'll pop up somewhere on that page. When does voting start? Voting starts officially next Monday when the school day starts, or maybe around fifth hour, but it will be Monday for sure. Okay, thank you for taking the time to talk with us for our WSH News. The 2024 senior class is sponsoring Paint Night for All Seniors on Friday, September 15th from 4 to 7 p.m. Seniors can paint their own jeans using their own supplies or spray paint a t-shirt for $7. Volunteers are needed to help set up the event and assist with painting. Please see Mrs. Vasilati in room 6203 if you are interested in volunteering. Are, are you a senior who is interested in painting your parking spot? Well, WSH News reporter Haley Allen has the story. Good morning, Hawks. Today I'm here with Mr. Kermis to talk about the senior parking painting. So, Mr. Crimmins, when's the deadline that seniors need to turn their contract in by? The deadline for the contract is September 15th, 3 p.m. It's due in room 6101. What are the requirements that seniors need to meet to be able to come and paint? So, they obviously have to have a parking spot that's pretty big. They also need a 2.2 GPA, and they also need to complete this contract, which they can obtain in room 6101. What kind of things can they paint? Really, like, the sky's the limit. They can't put, like, their names on it or other people's names, but... They can put lyrics to songs, they can put something like, you know, I have someone like doing Eric Cartman from South Park, someone doing Lilo and Stitch. Kind of just depends. Obviously, you can't do anything inappropriate, so like no gang stuff, no slur, no political stuff, just, you know, things that just, you know, identify your personality. When can seniors come in? Seniors can come in September 23rd and 25th, which will be a Saturday and a Monday. We don't have school that Monday. Um, from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. And they can come in with their family, whoever wants to help them out, and make sure to bring a lot of paint, sunscreen, and water. All right, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Haley Allen. The window to purchase the senior package is ending soon. Seniors have until Friday, September 15th, to purchase the senior package. Please make sure to purchase one soon to capitalize on discounts for big events like homecoming, prom, grad bash, and more. SGA would like to announce that Club Rush will take place on Monday, September 18th during both A and B lunch. Different clubs will have tables set up where they can advertise and explain to students what they're about. For anyone interested in drama and theater, there is a thespian meeting today at 3 p.m. in room 2109. Get ready to shine in front of the camera because Underclassmen Picture Day is coming up later this week. WSRH news reporter Liam Kane has the details. We're here with Kylie Gruby in the yearbook class. So, Kylie, when is Picture Day? Picture Day is this Friday, September 8th in Mr. Bell's room, 7110. All right. And how can you get your pictures? Um, you and your parents should receive an email in a couple weeks and also a sample in the mail where you can order pictures through there. And do you have to pay to get your pictures? Underclassmen do not have to pay, but seniors have a $30 sitting fee for using Katie's equipment. Okay, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Liam King. Sofa Club is having its first meeting today after school in room 7118. WSRH News reporter Haven Berryhill has more on the story. Today I'm here with Mr. Lane for the Sofa meeting. So Mr. Lane, what is the Sofa Club? So the SOFA Club stands for the Society of Future Authors and Artists. And so we're a kind of an art and creative writing club um, that uh, meets up to kind of engage in just some kind of creative activities. Uh, we also make the school's literary magazine. So every year we publish a book of student art and writing. So some of it comes from students in the club and then some of it just comes from students on campus as well. When and where is the SOFA club meeting? Okay, so we meet every week, so you can be involved in other clubs and still find time to come see us. Um, we meet in room 7118 
every Wednesday and Thursday from 3 to about 4.30 in the afternoon. Can anyone join? Yes, we're still open up through Club Rush, which is happening in a couple of weeks. Uh, we'll be still accepting new members. So again, just stop by and join a meeting and we'll get you involved in our classroom code there. But this is a classroom code that everybody can join. Um, if you want to just submit your art or writing to the literary magazine, but maybe you don't have the time to invest in maybe attending the club. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. I'm Haven Berryhill for WSRH News. Helping the Homeless Club is having its first meeting tomorrow, Thursday, September 7th, after school in room 5210. Please bring cheese, lunch meat, and or bread if possible. September is Hunger Action Month. Do you excel in science? Science National Honor Society applications are now available. Please see the Google Classroom page to access the application. The join code is DSSYRWS. Applications are located in the Classwork tab of this Google Classroom page. Applications must be submitted by Friday, September 15th. If you have, if you have any questions, please email Mr. Kaplan at jonathan.kaplan at palmbeachschools.org. Requirements to apply for membership include a 3.75 weighted GPA. You must be a current 10th, 11th, or 12th grade student. Completion of at least one honors AP or A science class with a B course grade or higher. Current enrollment or completion of chemistry. Enrollment in Honors, AP, Dual Enrollment, or ACE Science class for the 2022 to 2023 school year, and 10 completed community service hours. The National English Honor Society is having its first meeting for returning members today at 3 p.m. in room 7119. There will be a first priority meeting on Friday, September 8th from 3 to 4 in room 9103. Join for games, pizza, and community. Congratulations to the week's Hawk of the Week. 9th grade, Warren Thompson, nominated by Coach Ligaboli. 10th grade, Andrew Carpenter, nominated by Ms. Nicho. 11th grade, Brianna Hamilton, nominated by Ms. Nicho. And 12th grade, Apollo Rosa, nominated by Mr. Smith. Good job, Hawks. Students were nominated based on academic improvement or for their efforts in making our campus, campus better by doing things like helping others, volunteering their time, or even simply picking up trash. Coming up on WSH News and weather and birthdays. Plus, boys' golf results. <laughs> What type of sugar canes do Floridians grow? What? Hurricanes. <laughs> Let's go to WSOH meteorologist Ryan Hansen with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. For today's forecast, we have a high of 93 with a low of 71 with partly cloudy skies. And for our three-day forecast, on Thursday, we have a high of 93 and a low of 72 with sunny skies. On Friday, we have a high of 93 and a low of 73 with sunny skies. And on Saturday, we have a high of 92, a low of 75 with scattered thunderstorms. For WSOH weather, I'm Ryan Hansen. We have a happy birthday going out to Jazdell Rodriguez, Brooke Adkins, Kendall Adkins, Jamal Kamara, Kayla Christie, Zoe Hayden, Gwen, Gwen Iyer Barron, Steven Salgado Rodriguez. Happy birthday. WSOH sports anchor Anaya McMinns joins us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Jonah and Lily. Today is a busy day for Summer Ridge Sports, but first let's talk about yesterday's matches. Yesterday, the, bo the boys' golf team teamed up against Santa Lucia and beat the Chiefs at Madison Green Country Club. WSRH Sports reporter Alyssa McCallum has more on the story. Today I'm here with Coach Keenan's boys' golf. So, I heard you guys played a game last night. What was the score? We played Santa Lucia's High School and we won 197 to 203. Who played the best? Well, all, everybody did really well last, yesterday. Uh, we had a couple guys get their personal best, and our low score was by Bryson Edgar. When's your next match? We play today against Glade Central. Are you proud of how your team did? Extremely proud. We had a tough injury 
uh, last week, and a couple guys really stepped up for us to be able to beat St. Lucia's. Thank you for talking to us. For WRSH Sports, I'm Alyssa McCown. Girls basketball mandatory preseason conditioning will start next week on Tuesday, September 12th from 3 to 5 p.m. They will meet in front of the weight room co for conditioning. In order to participate, your athletic packet must be completed through Activate. If you have any questions, please reach out to Coach Hudson at maria.hudson at palmbeachschools.org. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, girls volleyball versus Martin County away. Freshman 5 p.m., JV 6 p.m., and varsity 7 p.m. JV football versus Wellington home at 6 p.m. Boys and girls cross country at Wellington invitation at 5 p.m. Boys and girls golf at Wellington, 3.30 p.m. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Anai McMinns. For WSRH News, I'm Lillian and Marion. And I'm Jenna Baker. Remember that you can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at, at Seminole Ridge TV. Have a great day, Hawks.